What's up, Mappers? We got a very special treat for you guys today. We're going to target a very new species for the channel this winter. We haven't targeted them a single freaking time. I can't believe we made it this far to ice fish season. We haven't even gotten to try to catch them yet. So I guess we'll have, to, we'll have to go catch them. I'll show you what those guys are here in a little bit. And we might potentially catch a trophy or a state record or something like that. It's going to be a damn good time. So before we get out there on our little day road trip tomorrow morning, I want to let you know this video is sponsored by Six Cents fishing and specifically the six sack look at this this guy came in a freaking beautiful red velvety bag that you can put all different sorts of stuff in after you're done using it but you might be wondering what the hell comes in it first off well it's a monthly subscription sack of six cents baits only so you don't have a bunch of stickers and baits you never heard of from companies or shitty color baits from companies you have heard of you got premium sexy baits from six cents fishing hard baits soft baits terminal tackle guys check out what is in this month's sack Uh, yeah, I think I would eat the damn baits that are in this bag for this month. And best yet, if you guys want to get the first one for very, very cheap, you can save $10 in your very first box by using the promo code MF. Super six. It's on the screen right now. I'll link it at the top of the description right down below. You want to do this. Get yourself a freaking present every single month. It comes to your door. Don't tell your significant other if you don't want to. Get your first one really cheap and have awesome tackle delivered to your door every single month. But Cole, we got to go freaking catch some of these gigantors. It's going to be a good time. Let's do it. All right, we made it out here, guys. It is negative two degrees, but it is, it's warmer in here, thanks to old Mr. Heater. Time to see where the hell these fish are at. We, we kind of did opposite. Usually you want to drill and find the fish before you uh, you set up the shack, but it's so damn cold today. And we want to be in here. We're going to do some some searching out around the, the outskirts here. Probably set some jaw jackers up with uh, some waxies or some minnows or something like that too. But yeah, check this out though. These damn minnows were in my garage and I just broke through an inch of damn ice to get to them. So I don't know if any of them are alive or anything. Maybe dead minnows will be what we got in the jaw jackers but regardless we're gonna uh, poke some holes start jigging around and see what the hell we can catch got one cold saw getting started hey that's not what we're after but what crap guy was he on the bottom he was a suspended guy okay so we're fishing 16 17 feet how far down was he he was right at 13 nice crappy definitely i'm having a hard time filming cold because i got freaking what well, looks like big wan on me here. I'm trying to get the damn underwater camera out to see what the hell these things are down there. The old wish app guy. Hopefully it works. Hey, the screen came on. That's a start. That thing's stupid. Camera on. Is it frozen? Yeah, it's got some ice inside the lens and it's cracked. That's good. Definitely should have taken it inside. Let's see what it looks like when you put it under the water. The water visibility is, uh, it's freaking fantastic here too. This is the dumbest thing ever. I got it on my fucking line. If I get a fish on, it's gonna be a disaster. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, that's what's there. Crappy. I got a crappie above it. That's not a crappie. Help, Cole. Oh, it's tangled in the camera. Yes, it is. It's very tangled in the camera. I'll just let the camera go. Good God, we got a smorgasbord issues here, but we got the right kind of issues at least. Definitely was what we're after. Oh my God, dude. Can you pull it from under? There's my lion from my jaw jacker. I don't think it's one of the big, big ones at least. Oh, sweet. Cole's got the camera going. One more loop around there. That stupid wire on the camera. <laughs> yeah, the wire is dangerous to say the least. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One more. Let's let him get down. Let him, let him give me some pull down, bud. This is the biggest cluster f of all time. All right, wait, we, we ain't doing this again. Oh my God, are you serious? Get on a water camera, they said. You I'm should just, just like bunch go. it up and take it around that way, cool. It's cut through the little eyelid on there. Oh, f yeah. 
<laughs> so we got camera issues. Ooh, it's a big one. Dude, it's a big one. If we get this in, it's gonna be a miracle. Oh, God. Yes! Wow. Boom! That's what we're here for. That was the biggest disaster of all time. We got my freaking camera down the same hole. I just wanted to see what was down there. And then it, it set off one, if not both, of the jaw jackers. So I have that line wrapped around my rod. And this was what it paid off for. This guy just like swam by and crushed the Swedish nipple. What a freaking awesome fish catch. Oh my God. Super active fish. Cole's so excited. I'm so excited. There's no way we should have caught this probably. Three and three quarter, four pounds smallmouth. Very, very thick, fat, and beautiful. <laughs> paid off. Oh my God, what a disaster. <laughs> Oh shit. I don't know if this is the, the only one we're gonna catch today. It might be, but we've been here for 10 minutes. Jawjacker got set off. Yeah, there's these down there and much bigger than this as well. She's froze. There she goes. Good start, Coleslaw. What you got, Cole? What you got, Cole? Dude, you're catching the bigger craps over there. Cole's dialed on the craps patterns. Bigger craps, but Bigger's. Not, not big craps. I just caught one on the jaw jaker that didn't even make the video that was an eighth of an inch long. It was a fry and somehow it ate a minnow. Good one, Cole. Yeah, there's a whole damn school crappy down there now. I can't see them on my screen because they're too narrow. They don't even show up. Get them up before he gets entangled too bad. Ooh, a bluegill. What a rare catch. I was wondering why I couldn't see him. Ultra rare blue jill. It's a micro. That is a micro bluegill. Throw them in Cole's hole. Hopes to wreck Cole's day. Micro fishing for micro gales. Come on, bud. Got him, big in. And lost him. He pulled off. Well, piss. We didn't have that much action going on inside the hut, so we just moved out here doing some exploring. And the uh, second hole that I that I explored out here, a little bit deeper water than the hut was in on this drop-off, though. Had one come up and eat it already, and he was way more active, so I like that, although didn't catch him, which I did not like. I'm not sure how big he was, but big old head shakes. It's always tough, though. You kind of get this smallmouth up to the hole and they take off, decide they want to fight. I already got one looking at me again, though. My shit's freezing up so bad. I mean, I don't mind the fishing part of it, but my everything's frozen my reels destroyed guides are all i got ice in my reel somehow i got school of crappies that one i hooked was definitely a smallmouth come on be a smallie there we go Come on, bud. Not as big of a guy, but it's the right kind of guy, Cole. This one's just a 60 inch musky. Yeah, son. Man, that feels good. Wish we had smallmouth in Nebraska. It wasn't even Dude, just pinned it. Just pinned it. That's I think what happened on the last one that I lost. Yeah, Freaking as spotted as you last No, year. he's not as pretty. That's why I was kind of surprised when we pulled that one up, how, how beautiful the colors were. Mm -hmm. This one's a little deeper though, about 18 feet. He was definitely way more aggressive. I ripped that that uh, Swedish nip up. He came up and popped it. Nice little two pound guy, yeah. healthy. Very healthy. Healthy Juan. Pretty cold guy. Cold guy. Yep. I believe that. It is. Uh, it did warm up out here. I think it got up to zero. <laughs> See you later, guy. Sweet. Hole hopping, man. I think that's the deal. You got to move. This was like, I dropped down. Deal nipple from Sweden. That's my guy right there with a little waxworm on it. And like Cole said, didn't even hook him. That was kind of our problem with that lake we fished last year that uh, got actually destroyed. We lost a ton of fish because for whatever reason, these smallmouth, we have a hard time getting good hooking them. And I'm two for three so far today. I'm okay with losing one because, yeah, it happens with these smally juice. But hey, I'm, I'm jacked about that. We got two, we've only been here about an hour. Probably spend the majority of the day here. Might go hit another lake that's by here. 
I don't know, but this is like this is the local lake that uh, the locals don't want you to know about. So we're gonna we're gonna keep on the DL sort of kind of. Jacker went off. I hear dingling. Right, spee shy. Right, spee shy. Beauty. Both of them are off. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Take, here, don't, yeah. Don't worry about that, dude. Cole has never caught a smallie through the ice. Oh yeah, he's heavy. Yeah, there's one on the other ones as well, but it's a crappie, I think. <laughs> We're out here searching around, and we got freaking. Got a dead minnow sitting in here. I didn't think a smallmouth might eat that. I was kind of just hoping for a bigger crappie. Of course, I was hoping for a smallmouth. <laughs> yep, it's big, Cole. Yeah, seems, that's a that's a big rod big. too. Oh yes, yes, wow. son. <laughs> Wee! <Dang. laughs> Look at that guy. Dude, perfect. Right in the the lit, the top of the mouth. That's one of those six cents drop shot hooks too. <laughs> We not found bad. a use for them. Hey, not, not if you're gonna catch a smallmouth, your first <laughs> ever, you might as well catch a freaking 19, 20 inch your long one. That's a three and three quarters. Again, that's about like the one I caught. Yeah, built different though. Yours is definitely longer. Uh huh. Longer. Sick. Not as spotty, but very thick and healthy. Look at that. Thanks, Beautiful. Man. Hell yeah, son! That's amazing. I'm glad we came up to this lake. I'm, I'm glad I heard it first. Dude, I am too. <laughs> You heard it here first. Let me reel this crappie in quick too. I suppose it could be bigger. It's just like frozen. Oh, then it came off, of course. Perfect. Get you on the big camera. Oh, that was bad. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. It didn't even break. It's a good spot for those. Sweet. Coleslaw. First ever smaller through the ice, and it's the right one. That is, uh, that's a beautiful fish. Diff totally different marking, totally different shape. Totally different, long, healthy. It is healthy though. Very healthy, thick guy. Beautiful, man. You bet. Big ol' slaunch to sore. Slaunch to sore. Let's get him back. Get him back, get him back. See you later, beautiful. There she kicked. Nice one. Thanks, man. Boom. Oh, you're big. There we go. Seems to be of the right species. Oh, yep. And all sorts of wrapped. Thanks, bud. He might be big or something, man. He's going in circles all weird. Come on, bud. Oh no, he's not big. Oh, he's the right species though. Pretty little guy. Definitely a fighter guy. For sure a Seth fighter. We've heard stories of five, six pounders, even mythical stories of seven pounders in here. So this is definitely not what we're after, but definitely good fish nonetheless. Get him back in. Another wand on the old Swedish nipple slash waxworm combination. We've just been bouncing around these holes that are about 10, 15 feet apart, drilled a bunch on this drop off. A lot of times they're crappie down by the bottom and you can see the separation of the marks. But when there's one fish down there, it's usually a small mouth, or at least it seems like it is. We've now hooked four, which is uh, not bad in a couple hours out here. So hopefully we can get a big now. There we go. That's a big one. God, shit. I don't know what's happening down there, but that was definitely a big lethargic one. I think I might have like a brush pile or something right here. Weird, it's definitely a smallie. Yeah. 